Good afternoon, folks. Big Daddy Chuck here. Welcome to the channel. We're out here today on Route 55, right in between Strasburg and Front Royal. And uh, we're here at the uh, famous Henry's Grocery. Uh, I tell you, folks, I stop here all the time. I like to start some rides here all the time. Uh, stop here and get us a nice something cold to drink and do a little stretchy. And uh, uh, they got uh, some, some of the coldest beer in the in the area. That's for sure. They got a nice walk-in freezer. It's always good to you know get something cold out of there. And uh, I'll tell you, when on, on those hot days out here riding on these bikes, it's a good place to go in and cool off too for just a couple minutes. Uh, but like I said, they got good cold food, uh, cold food, hot food, everything here. But uh, we're going to do us a, uh, a little ride here today, my son and I. Uh, we're on the Honda Shadow. Today I'm on the uh, 23NC750X DCT. Uh, we're going to do a little ride I call Punch Run. We're going to start it off right here. And uh, we're going to head down uh, towards uh, Route 619. It's a nice little road. Got some nice twisties. And we're gonna head into the fort. So uh, uh, without further ado, jump up on my back, take a piggyback ride with us. It's gonna be fun. Stick with us. We're gonna get a kick in here. No butt situated here. All right. We're gonna keep her in standard mode here. Uh, probably keep her manual as well. Uh, I like to uh, be a little more control of this thing when, on some of these roads. Uh, uh, but, uh, we've got, uh, of course, the sport mode. We've got a rain mode. I like to use that a lot when I'm in parking lots and uh, you know, any kind of gravel road. It uh, really helps keep it, uh, you know, keep you from getting too silly. So, let me go around there. Come back. Yeah, got me a little caramel monster. Little sport bike riding in the wind. At least you got a helmet on, you ain't got nothing else on. But... Punch run, here we go. Kind of stumble back again on this road here after, hell, it's probably been 24, 25 years since I've been down this road and uh, just kind of forgot all about it because, you know, of course, we're just, just getting on these motorcycles here. Been, Put a new rider, been about nine, ten months now. Started off with a 22 Honda ADV 150, which we still got in the garage. We drive out all the time. Got that last uh, July 2nd, back in 22, and I think I got about 3,700 miles on that thing already. I love it. And uh, just picked this one here up in uh, March of this year, 23. We done got the 600 mile service and I think we're sitting around 11, 1200 miles on this already. So we are not letting grass grow under these wheels at all. But you can see out here, it is absolutely beautiful. Quite a few twisties, but we're gonna open up into this valley here. You can see we got uh, Sigma Knob Mountain over here to our uh, right, just uh, west of 
Prabowo. And uh, we got the uh, Allegheny Mountains there on the other side. We're going to be coming up on the road here called 619 and uh, where we're going to come out at is about two miles uh, west of Route 340, uh, which comes right through Front Row. And uh, I like to take this if I'm coming into the backside of Front Row anyway, because it bypasses having to go through town. And I tell you, man, that, that place is always a mess. No matter what time of day, what day of the week, it's just like driving down downtown DC. It's always traffic, but. Uh, I think it's uh, from Route 340 to 619. I think it's about nine, almost ten miles long, and uh, it's just a beautiful ride. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Just can't get enough of it. Always got to be cautious out here on these roads, especially after we've had some rain. There's a lot of gravel driveways and there's a lot of washout. And just got to be cautious. Go around, turn, old pile of gravel there to upset you. Damn sure don't want that to happen. Old stop sign sure does come up on you quick. Paying attention, looking at those mountains over there. Going up in somebody's bushes for sure. All right. See the sign here for the airport, Front Royal Airport. That's where we're going to be coming right up next to. Never been down this road. I actually just stumbled on it about three or four weeks ago. I was going on a ride. I think I did a Mother's Day ride. And man, I wonder where this goes. Well, we found it. And that's where it comes out at, right there by the airport. And I was like, well, okay. So now I know. If we went straight back there, we'd have come down. Well, I reckon probably about almost to the end. Uh, uh, six, 619 there. Pretty much missed all that pretty ride. Sure hope I'm screaming loud enough into this mic. Got one of them external microphones on this uh, Insta360 X3 that we're recording on here today. Thanks to my lovely wife. Uh, got me that for Christmas. never know her when we're out here on the twisties uh, just love enjoying the scenery out here and I know a lot of people like to come through these roads and haul an ass I know there's a lot of locals travel this every day you know they, they get a little complacent and they like to come across these yellow lines and Bikers, we gotta, we gotta be aware of that every, every time, every turn, you know. Kind of keep everything as 
you're doing these turns uh, as far as you can see you know that's where you kind of make sure your, your line of sight is at all times keep scanning back immediately in front of you looking for road debris and stuff and Nice and cool back here in the shade. Big old patch of gravel back there in the middle. No driveways, no nothing, just big old patch of gravel. through here last time there must have been a million caterpillars out around here on the road the birds was just a feasting they've been flying around with the mouths open eating them pecker nuts all the time the more caterpillars come along they was happy well, here we are we're coming up on the front roll airport as you can see there's a Oh, West Virginia Air Guard plane here. I don't know what it's called, but it looks pretty badass anyway. Every now and then you get to see some planes landing here. Or, uh, the Hank, the gliders and all that, and parachuters too. I know one time I come down here in my ADV 150, and I'll just... Uh, I was just sitting over there in the parking lot, just looking at the airport down the, down the runway and everything, and man, something, I called something out of my peripheral and uh, scared the shit out of me, but it was uh, about seven parachuters coming in the land right over my head. <laughs> but it sure was cool to watch them land. Just one at a time, just rolling in nice and smooth. If you look right through them trees right here, I'm pointing, there's that one, see that ridge? There's a tree sitting there hanging out all by itself. Well, that's where me and my lovely wife got married here a few years back, back in 2020. Just, we eloped and went right up there on that to overlook and brought this old boy from Australia and preacher and he uh, did a little ceremony right up there on the, right up there on that hill, it was perfect. All right, let's go. Here we're on 619. Y'all ready? Let's go. This little road here, I guess we're going to have about seven miles over here. Just a pretty little ride. Anybody coming through front roll? trying to get through Fort Valley or yeah, even, even trying to get ahead to Luray. This is a much prettier ride. I assure you of that. Something going on over here. Look at this one cutting grass. Yep. Right in the damn turn. don't know how dangerous that is for motorcyclists and bicyclists and in general it is against the law as you can see the mountains right there in front of us we're going to be going right down the side of them right on the eastern side of it Right through Fort Valley, through the George Washington National Forest. Passage Creek runs right down through there. Pretty much you can see it all the way through the forest. And when it kind of opens back up, it, you know, we, it kind of goes hugs the mountain side a little bit more. You can't really see the creek, but there are spots that you'll be able to cross over it. The 
CBR for sale back there. In this case, you're taking that ride to Luray or anything like that, you got uh, got one little store on this road right here. It'll be about 15, 20 miles before you get in the Fort Valley. There's a country store. We're gonna stop there. That's where I usually do stop and give me uh, something nice, cold drink, do a little stretchy. Just uh, take a moment, but as you can see right here on the right-hand side, it's Rivermont Grocery. You get something cold to drink, ice. They got a little Johnny Blue there, so it's a little pit stop right there. Need to make that trip. Since we just left Henry's, uh, we're pretty good, but coming up on the old 90. One of my favorite turns on the road. There's quite a few of them here. Whoa, goddamn bird almost got me. <laughs> yep, they're flying around trying to get these damn bugs and beetles and... Seen my first Dobson fly last night of the, of the year. Hanging outside my damn garage door, scared shit out of me. Went, grabbed the damn door, was going in and get me a nice cold Miller High Life. And uh, sure enough, he's hanging he's right on the damn door handle. Yeah, I screamed. Yeah, I did. I ain't gonna lie. little spot right here on the left it's called skyline ranch it's a nice uh, rv camping area really cool building something look, look right out of the old west you can see here to the left it's really really cool place it's got a nice salt water uh, swimming pool there too I almost said fishing hole <laughs> and uh Really cool pool. They always got some good country music playing or something, and just a great little atmosphere. And it's open to the public. You don't have to camp there or anything. But I've uh, never camped there, but uh, I did go uh, see a car show there last July when my, my older brother come up from Florida. The other big daddy. And uh, yeah, it's a really cool car show. Had lots of old Mopars and Chevys and some modern cars and everything. But man, them bugs were so bad. We uh, we didn't stay real long. As long as I, not as long as I wanted to, but my goodness, them suckers are ready to. They was ready to take us away. Told my brother, I said, all them gnats that just bit you on the face, man. I said, they just come fresh off a dog's ass. <laughs> oh my goodness. Got the old mail truck here. Let's see if we can get on by. Here we go. Oh, that felt good. Back in there, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna visit that place one day over there at the Skyline Ranch. We're gonna do a little video of that, so stay tuned for that real soon. Ooh, damn! Forgot about that bump. Rattle my sphincter. This is another one of those areas. A lot of gravel road, driveways. Got a runner here. One of my other favorite turns. Nice little downhill. S turn. Of course, before I bought these motorcycles, I used to come in here with my old Subaru. Oh, it's 
pretty through here. It's a crazy little spot up here. Looks like they've been doing some work. They trimmed back these uh, sides of the brood, all the bushes. And man, I, in 25 years, I never remember seeing all these cedar trees all lined up in a row. But man, you can still see they're all along this road. There's some old, old cedar trees too. But I just thought it was a pretty, pretty crazy. How all of a sudden they just got exposed. out right there and you gotta watch out for mud and gravel right there especially the recent rains right there is Mother Rock Trail really beautiful hike I don't think I'm gonna be filming that but I did do it one time it was many years ago uh, hell probably 15 years ago easy I made it to the top. Of course, I had a lot of help. There's them cedar trees I was telling you about right here. Just like, bam, there they are. I guess they just cleared all this brush and both sides of the road here. Just, I guess they just, I guess they trimmed them back and all of a sudden, man, now that, hey, look, look how many, look how many there are. I'll never be able to count that many. But yeah, we made it up there. My, my old black lab saw, old saw dog. Man, I sure do miss him. I lost him in 2009. But he was a U.S. Customs dog, and I tell you what, he pulled my ass all the way up that mountain. <laughs> he sure did help me. There we are, We're going down the hill here for nice twisties. Coming up on uh, the fish hatchery, which runs right along Passage Creek here. You'll see we're going to go over the creek. See how many they got filled up here today. Looks like they got them all. I think there's five of them. Yeah, they got all five of them full. That's a good thing. That means uh, somebody get ready to get some goodies. We just passed over Crash's Creek right here. Like I said, she runs all the way down the mountain there and she ends up dumping uh, just about two miles from here right into the North Fork of the Shenandoah River. One of my uh, absolute favorite fishing spots. I bought my first house right over here behind this firehouse up on the mountain there back in 1998 and uh, that's when I found this road right here. Once I found this road I quit going to Luray and all that camping. Down 340, I just took this room. It is absolutely beautiful. And the sun coming up behind me. Here we are. This is Route 678. And we're in, uh, getting ready to come into the George Washington National Forest. This is such a pretty ride, folks. You got to come out and try it. Lots of good fishing in this creek. A lot of people come up here and do some swimming. They do stock it a few times a year with trout. There we are. And uh, I think just come out here and do a little sunbathing on some of these rocks. And, you know, it's a pretty narrow part of the road, so you gotta be cautious. You gotta stay to the outside a little bit because you know, some people need that good of a driver coming through here that's riding right, right on your side of the road. There's the creek right there. You can see there's a bunch of little pull-offs here on the right hand side for parking. You're riding through here, just be off cautious of kids running out in front of you or uh, cars just turning out of there. Not thinking nothing, paying attention, but 
Drive down the road with the turn signal on again. Running my mouth. All growed up now, man. Uh, come through here a couple months back in the winter time, getting that first ride in uh, through the valley since October. And it was pretty cold, but I didn't care. I needed to get out of that house. I needed to get out there and ride. And there you go. You can see some people down there now. And that's women, fishing, doing whatever. Pretty popular spot right there amongst the locals. That creek feels good today. Got a cager back there behind my son. We're gonna probably pull over up here and let him go by. I don't like to be pushed when I'm out here. I like to take my time. I don't speed up about 45 through here, which you can do, you know. I, I don't recommend it through here just because of all the pull-offs and everything. place up here is called Elizabeth's Furnace also right up here on the left it's not that far in it's uh they got uh, family camping day camping uh, space to you know going there it, it costs something I'm not sure what it is but it's on the honor system they got a nice uh, big huge billboard there it tells you everything you need to know but uh, Passage Creek runs right through there there's another little day area Access uh, through there that squirrel, squirrel. Anyway, uh, good little place to come hang out for the day. Do a little swimming, a little fishing down there too. They got uh, a couple covered pavilions and picnic tables and stuff there too. Folks, you know, you can find a much prettier place to go and hang out with the family, that's for sure. Had a few family functions down there. There's a day use area right here. There's a little bridge that you go over here that when you get in there it crosses right over the creek. Good little place to just stand and fish. Every time I go in there, I always see some small mouse swimming in there. Sometimes if you